Hi, I'm Yael. And one of the fundamental skills uh, in nurturing resilience is self-regulation, um, which we like to focus on because it's something to do. It's an, it's an action. However, you can't self-regulate until you first have greater self-awareness of what's happening. And um, in that vein, I want to offer you a mindfulness practice today that helps you gain greater awareness of your emotions and how they live in your body um, as, as felt sensations and as thoughts. The more familiar you become with how different emotions express themselves within you, the easier it will be to then practice the more external skills. But the fundamental is self-awareness. So we're gonna work on that. I'm gonna suggest you think about a situation that happened maybe even this past week that on a scale of one to 10 was challenging at about the level of two or three. Don't go for something that's super tender, super traumatic. Uh, take it down several notches while you're practicing this uh, form of, of really deep self-inquiry. And once you get the idea of how this rolls, this is something that um, can almost be automatic in terms of your daily inquiry or daily reflection practice. Okay, so the first thing I'll invite you to do is just take a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. And you know, if there's any little movements that wanna come out, help yourself. If it's comfortable for you, close the eyes or you could just gaze down or gaze softly at uh, some, a spot that's not moving. And maybe take one of those deep inhalations and you could sigh that breath out. And then let yourself imagine a person, an animal, a plant that's beloved and that makes you feel really uh, at ease and safe. And you can imagine that you're with this person or animal or plant, or it could be a space. There could be a place in nature or a place in your own home where you feel really at peace, at ease. You could think of it as your happy place. In yoga, we call this the inner resource. And just let yourself first anchor in the safety and the ease and the peacefulness that you're feeling. And just notice where in your body you tend to feel this. It might be an overall sense of wellness where you might feel specific signals, maybe from the area around the heart or between the eyes, or the palms, wherever it is, just notice it. And then um, I, I just want to invite you as we go through the rest of the meditation, working with a challenge that if at any point it becomes too much, you just come back to your happy place, to your inner resource. Uh, and this is something you can also do, not just in this city, in this sitting meditation practice, but in your day, if you're walking around and you realize that there's a feeling of heaviness or worry, or you're kind of going through an obsessive thought loop, come back to this place again and again. It's not meant to cover up anything, but to um, help it uh, be easier for you to touch in and stay present for what is difficult, but first through safety. And in that place of, of safety, it might be possible for you to come up with a scenario that happened this week. Uh, doesn't have to be so much the external situation, but your own 
reaction. So you might have felt like you lost your cool or you did go through uh, a day when you couldn't stop thinking about something, you couldn't focus on what you needed to focus on. It was hard for you to feel pleasure in the day, even if you were in a place that you normally love or doing an activity that is delightful. Good. And as you consider that situation, just notice um, what emotion is coming up. Is it frustration? Do you feel overwhelmed? Sorrow? Without trying to change anything, I'll invite you to now uh, go a little deeper and just like we did with the inner resource, see if you notice any particular sensations when you get frustrated or when you feel overwhelmed. What are you noticing happening inside your body or at the level of skin? You know, there might be a tightness, for example, somewhere, or a pulsation. And so this practice is just about being with that, being present to it without trying to suppress it or change it or running away. And as you track and even to yourself describe those sensations as you sit with them without an agenda, just to observe, to witness. You may also notice certain thoughts that come up for you. There might be thoughts of I should or I shouldn't have, or I am, I am not. Nothing ever. I always, you know, these sort of um, narrative arcs that seem to go with this bodily, bodily sensation and with this emotion. And even as you're listening to the thoughts, you might already know that they're not completely true. They're just, they're just thoughts, but it's important to pay attention to it the same way that we would a small child tugging on the hem of our pants, right? Just paying attention with love. And then we might just say to ourselves that we know that we are not frustration, overwhelm, whatever the feeling is, anger, sorrow, and that those emotions are simply going through us. 
we know that this is true because we can be the one having the physical sensations, the emotions, and the thoughts. And yet a part of us is observing the one having these experiences. So there's a part of us that's separate, that is the observer, that is the witness. There is the part of us having the experience and the part of us observing the one who is having the experience. And so I am not anger. Anger is moving through me. And just notice if that starts to shift anything, just that awareness, the ability to take a little bit of a bird's eye view. And you could really sit with this for as long uh, as feels good for you maybe until something shifts. Uh, it said that any emotion, if you just sit with it patiently, will eventually change. But that's not our intention. Our intention today is simply to be aware. And you might also, uh, in addition to awareness, add the ingredient of compassion. So sending uh, compassion, kindness, caring to the part of you that is experiencing frustration, that is experiencing sorrow, that did uh, lose her cool or his temper in a way that might have hurt you and, and hurt others. In the moment, you are not fully present, and you are now, and you could see the effects of your own reactivity. And so we send ourselves compassion for that, just as we would if it was a small child. Good, let's just take another uh, inhale here. And on the exhale, the invitation is to drop your chin to your chest, just so that you can open up your eyes slowly, coming back into the room. I often recommend that you look around the room or the outdoor space where you're doing this and just notice three things you can see. They might be colors or textures or plants or painting. And then notice two things you can feel inside of your body. And maybe one thing you can hear. And then as you're ready, just fully come back. Good, so I hope you enjoyed today's uh, exercise of working with emotions with time and practice this form of inquiry will become very, very uh, second nature for you. And it's a great way of uh, getting out of just the, the thoughts, the pure thoughts and bringing it into the body. Let me know what you think.